Once again, welcome to the, to the Los Angeles Black Book Expo in Los Angeles, California. I have the pleasure of talking to Ms. Cherry Johnson. Yes. Cherry, like the fruit. I got it now. Um, anyway, Cherry, it's a pleasure having you come out. And where are you from? Thank you. I appreciate being here. I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but I've been here for 27 years. So you are a California native now? No, absolutely not. I'm an East Coast girl all day, every day. How long was the last time you've been back? This summer. Okay. Okay. I <laughs> had you on that I one. I still got an address at home. It's 412 all day. Okay. <laughs> well, basically, how long have you been writing? I've been writing since I was five years old. Okay. I'm from a small town called Duquesne outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we don't have a library. Our library was burnt down in 1968 because they did not want black people swimming in their pool. So my mom used to take me to a city called Wilkinsburg on the bus so that I could go to the library. It was a big, beautiful white building, which I did not understand that wasn't someone's house. I thought wow. someone's house had all those books. So I decided when I was little that one day I was going to have a book in that person's house okay. with my name on it. Wow. It's quite a story. So it's been a goal for a very long time. Yeah, that wasn't that long ago when you were young, you know, when you think about it. Uh, four or five decades. Anyway. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Dang, I'm only 34. You're 34. Okay. But I've been in California because I've been a part of the entertainment industry for 27 years. Okay. And the celebrity, what do you do? I was on a show called Punky Brewster a long time ago. And now okay. I, then Family Matters. And I have a movie that's out called I Do, I Did. I now write and produce films as well. Okay, and you're a production company then? Absolutely, Terrific yeah. Enterprises. Okay, perfect, perfect. Punky Brewster, and the other one was Family Matters? Family Matters, and wow. I do, I did. Wow, so you're probably on Family Matters, matters how, long, how old were you? 10 years, so anywhere from like 15 to 25. Wow, I used to watch that show. Thank you. Give it up my age now. But I gave up mine. <laughs> I know. Um, how, how do you describe yourself as a writer? I would say I'm very truthful. I really don't have anything to hide. I've had a great life, so I use all my life experiences, and I'll tell you all about me. Okay. So if you open my book, you will know me. All right. Uh, tell, tell our readers about your latest novel. It's called Around the World Twice. It was co-written by me and my friend, Kathy Scott. It's a telltale story of friendship in a time when black people don't stick together, much less work together. It's, um, she's a housewife with four children, I'm a celebrity, so they call me. Mm -hmm. And our lives parallel. We're women. Regardless of what we do, women are women. And you're friends. And we're friends, friends till the end. Which is more important. And not only being friends till the end, it's like, you know, a lot of celebrities, they might get an opportunity mm -hmm. and they'll they'll pay a phone bill or buy yeah. a drink or something like that. Yeah. But they don't bring their friends in. And I hate to say it, but Jewish people, Hispanic people and Asian people, they stick together. Yes. And they always give each other the opportunity. So it's about my book deal and okay. about bringing my friend in who needs to better her life and give okay. her more opportunities for her and her four children. Great. And it's in there. And that's a true friend. I recycle the black dollars. Exactly. You know, help somebody out. I, I don't want to pay for dinner every time we go to dinner. Yes. Sometimes I want you to pay for dinner. I want you to take me on vacation. Exactly. I don't want to take everybody on vacation. And yes. I think if we stuck together and there was more unity, mm -hmm. we'd be a lot further than we are today. Oh, for, you know, I, I must agree. And that's a that's a whole nother subject. Oh yeah. We'll do a panel on that one day about uh, people coming together, working within our own community, et cetera, et cetera. But that's a whole different story. Will you invite me? I'm there. We'll definitely do that. I appreciate it. Uh, how do you come up with your characters? They're me. Okay. Or part of me. People that I know. Okay. You know, I study people. Okay. I've lived a great life, 27 years in the industry, baby. I'm a child star. I got a lot of stories in me. Exactly. Some you probably can't share, some you shouldn't share. I'm sharing them all. Are you really? I really, I have nothing to hide. You My life any, has been Are you going to make any, any, any enemies? Maybe. Okay. I'm not afraid to, though. Okay. I, I have a great life. I don't have any enemies. Good. You know, some people might be upset that I told the truth about them, but they yeah. won't be upset that I twisted anything. Well, you know, the thing is, you can't lie about the truth. And they know that. Never. You know, that's that's the biggest difference. And and you don't have to worry about being caught up in the tabloids of TMZ if you tell on yourself. It ain't exactly. No <laughs> yeah. You're not a headline anymore. No. Uh, what's, what, is, what was your biggest challenge in writing this novel? I would say finding a publishing deal. Wow. I finished the novel about four years ago. Well, okay. I thought I finished. He made me rewrite okay. it and revamp it. But okay. um, I searched. I couldn't get a literary agent. My own agency were literary agents on yeah. the other side and yeah. they wouldn't take me. 
And so I, I went back and I revamped and I wrote stuff again. Okay. And then I found out that they wouldn't touch me because they were black based. Mm. And they didn't want to touch the subjects and they didn't want to touch the market. I met J.M. Benjamin, who's my publisher, New Quality Publishing, okay. two years ago. Okay. Before I did the film, I do, I did. Okay. And I asked him, hey, check me out. Did he was like, yeah, 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 I'll check you out. Never got a call back. Mm -hmm. So I didn't quit. I waited about two months and I called him back and I said, hey, I sent you an email. Did you read my book? He was like, no, mm. I didn't get to it yet, blah, blah, blah. He kind of okay. pushed me off for like a year and yeah. a half. Then I called him back and I was like, I have a movie coming out that's called I Do, I Did. I wrote it, I produced it, mm -hmm. I starred in it. Please watch my movie. Okay. And he was like, well, yeah, okay, I will. Okay. He didn't check me out. <laughs> Six months later, I called him again. BET was playing it on TV and I sent him a text message. And I mm -hmm. said, look, tonight I Do, I Did is coming out. It's the okay. first thing that I ever wrote. It's the first thing I produced okay. and I'm starring in it. I said, do me a favor and just watch it. Okay. He watched it. Okay. The next day I got a text message and he said, hey, are you still interested in writing wow books. so I've been on him ever since okay. he made me go through and revamp and he's right two years ago I wasn't ready yeah. I wasn't ready I didn't know what it takes and I wasn't yeah. really trying to educate myself I was trying to like you know write and not do the work yeah but now I'm older I'm more mature and yeah when you talk to some of the seasoned writers the first thing they're young a lot of young writers don't put in the work they don't educate themselves about the business and it's a cutthroat business I didn't and get it yeah you know I didn't get that it was just like music or just like movies and mm -hmm. just like film i thought that you know you write a book you give it to somebody they put it oh, in yeah. stores happy go lucky oh yeah yeah just walk up the browser notes i got this latest hit for you and do it that way i do understand where you're coming from because i hear that and he told me he was like you know i'm proud of you it's great that you want to write but i'm not going to sign you just because you're a celebrity you got to work for this yes he's like a celebrity and author are two different things mm -hmm. if you want to write your own books and not have somebody ghost write them yeah you need to go back and read every one of those 248 yeah. pages and work them out now did you get an editor i did okay. kathy scott the lady who works with okay, me okay perfect okay um what do you hope readers gain through your writing? You know, for this book in particular, okay. I want them to know that even though I'm a celebrity, I'm a little girl from the hood first. My mm -hmm. mom used to give me sandwiches on one piece of bread to make sure everybody in the house got one. Okay. She used to water down ketchup. Just because you were born poverty stricken, I didn't have no library. Now I got a yeah. book that I can donate to a library in a neighboring city. Okay. You don't give up your dreams and don't let anybody tell you can't. I don't believe in the words no and can't. Jam told me no for two years. Mm -hmm. He published my book. Yeah, and that's, that's uh, let's be, let the fans out there know it can happen. Absolutely. And, and it you will can, happen if, if you persevere. You know, you just keep going for it. Just because something bad happened yesterday doesn't mean that your tomorrow won't be great and your days are exactly what you make it. You think negative, you're going to get negative. You think positive, you'll get nothing but positive. If you want it, take it. Don't wait for anybody to give it okay. to you because they're not going to. Okay, what advice would you give aspiring writers? I would say keep writing. Okay. You know, keep writing, educate yourself, do okay. everything you can, whether it's like Google a book deal contract, okay. you know, how do I set up a book tour? Know exactly what you're getting into before you get into it. Exactly. Know the difference between a good deal and a bad deal because there are bad book deals just like there are bad record deals. Yeah, exactly. And bad managers. Absolutely. Uh, do you have a website? How can we contact you? You can find me on Twitter. I'm, I tweet all day. I tweet from my phone. It's twitter.com forward slash cherry, C H E R I E Johnson 75. I'm also at Facebook and it's the Cherry Johnson 75. There are some fake pages out there, so if you don't have that 75 behind my name, you're not going to find me. Okay, and how, how, how do we get your book? Oh, my book, it will be available on Monday. It's not available yet, but it's okay. on Amazon.com okay. on pre-order. And then it'll be in Barnes & Noble's, Books A Million, Borders Books. Anywhere you can buy books, you can definitely find Around the World Twice, written by Cherry Johnson and Kathy Scott. Okay. Uh, any last words? I would just, you know, repeat myself and say that your life is your life. You control what's going to happen to your tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. You have dreams. Dreams come true. I had a dream. My mother took me to see something called The Wiz when I was five years old. Mm -hmm. Two years later, I was on TV, and I, I landed my first TV show. And I've been wow. doing you know, it ever since. I'm from the projects. Now, was that The Wiz, The Play, or Wiz, The, the Wiz, The Play. Stephanie Mills was on the stage singing, exactly. and I said, ooh, Mommy, I want to do that. And honestly, I couldn't even watch the movie. 
after seeing the play. Oh, no, the I play blew I it away. I took about five minutes of the movie, and I was like, oh, that's another story, but I just couldn't do it. The play blew it away. My yeah. mom saved her little money, and we got on the train, and we mm -hmm. went to New York, and I was so excited that we got hot dogs. Oh, yeah. I found out later. Oh, I'm going to cry. I found out later I got a hot dog because my mom couldn't afford to feed me anything else. Okay. Yeah, that was a great So my whole life is a dream, and your life could be a dream, too. You just got to make it happen. Hey, I want to thank you for coming out. Um, good luck on your book. Thank you. Hope to see you again. Thank you, Will. And I'm not going uh, anywhere. I promised my mom 15. I meant okay, it. Okay, and I, I need to see the movie whenever you let me know. When, when, when's the movie available? Where can we I get do, it? I did is out right now okay. on DVD. Okay. And you can get it at Amazon.com. You can also go in Target and Walmart stores, okay. and it's available for you there. I also have another one out called Dead Tone and one out called Killer Weekend. Okay, fans, go ahead and just check check her out. Please. Every right. quarter I'm putting out a new movie, and about twice a year I hope to be putting out another book. Okay, looking forward to it. I appreciate it. Thanks again for coming out. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye.